that looks so mm -hmm. good. Our next guest is an expert at taking just any recipe and putting a little bit of a Latin twist on it. And in fact, she wrote a book about it. Local food blogger Vianne Rodriguez made a special recipe for Hispanic Heritage Month. Even though that may have officially ended last week, we'd never turn down a delicious mac and cheese recipe. Amen. Hola, hola, hola. Viene Rodriguez here from SweetLifeBake.com. And guys, I'm thrilled to be here to share with you a delicious recipe for Hispanic Heritage Month. Today, I want to share with you a twist on the classic mac and cheese. My queso mac and cheese is made with Mexican crema and plenty of shredded Oaxaca cheese. Let's get cooking. For this recipe, you'll need pasta, butter, flour, shredded Oaxaca cheese, milk, pepper, salt, tomatoes with green chilies, crushed tortilla chips, Mexican crema, a little bit of butter, and some fresh cilantro. Now we're gonna come in with the butter. Fill it. We're gonna let that melt. We're gonna come in with our flour. And what we wanna do is we wanna cook our flour. We're creating a sauce. Okay. We're gonna mix this until it's nice and thick. We're gonna add our milk. And we're also gonna come in with our Mexican crema. We're gonna whisk this until it's nice and thick. For this recipe, I'm using crema mexicana and Oaxaca cheese from real California milk. When you look for the seal, you'll know you're getting quality products made with sustainably sourced milk from family farms. Okay, now that our sauce has thickened, you can tell it coats the back of the spoon and that's exactly what we want. We're gonna come in with our diced tomatoes. We want to season it, so we're going to bring in some pepper and some salt, and we're going to give it a good mix. Now that we have that mixed, we're going to come in with our Oaxaca cheese. We're going to give that a quick stir. We want all of that cheese melted into our sauce. So we have our diced tomatoes, our chilies, our Oaxaca cheese, our Mexican crema, milk, salt, and pepper. Now I'm gonna come in with our pasta. And we're gonna stir to coat. We want all that pasta coated in that queso sauce. I'm gonna transfer our macaroni into our dish. And I'm gonna show you the most delicious topping that has got crunch, it's got a little bit of freshness, and it's gonna give this queso mac and cheese a little pop of flavor. Okay, to make our topping, we're gonna grab some crushed tortilla chips. We're gonna add them to a bowl. We're gonna come in and drizzle them with a little bit of butter. We want it to get nice and crisp. Then we're gonna come in with some fresh cilantro, and I'm just gonna break it apart with my hands and then I'm gonna give it a quick mix. We're gonna add it to our queso mac and cheese, and we're gonna have a little bit of crunch, a little bit of freshness, and then we're gonna pop this into the oven for 15 minutes while our topping gets nice and crunchy, and then we're gonna serve it up. And there you have it, guys, queso mac and cheese with a crispy tortilla topping. I can't think of a more delicious way to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Well, Vianne has tons more great and easy recipes on our website, from desserts to cocktails and everything in between. We set up a link on our website. Just go to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab.